All right, so many of you know Sparking Zero is right around the corner. We literally just got the official release date by Bandai of it coming out October 11th, or you can get it three days early on October 8th by pre-ordering it, of course. But I think the biggest thing, the most biggest thing people are curious about is, first off, who is this playable character? Nobody's talking about it, or actually a lot of people are talking about it, let's be honest. But a lot of people are guessing it's Beast Gohan. I have a completely different guess for you, as well as... If you see here, we do have DLC, 20 plus playable characters, the season pass. Now, the, the thing is, the season pass includes DLCs 1, 2, and 3, as you can see here, as well as it's going to include Super Superhero, as well as Dragon Ball Daima. Now, there's a lot of unknown when it comes to Dragon Ball Daima, so we really got to dive into that a little bit more. However... The 20 characters for, or at least the, the the what I'm going to assume is it's 7 characters per DLC. Today, we're going to hop into who that one mystery character is going to be, as well as Super Superhero. We'll dive into Daima and who I think the final characters in the actual game will be, as well as DLC Pack 3. We'll dive into all three of those things in a different video. Um, probably three different videos, honestly. Uh, because they're the, the, each one deserves their own video on who they're going to be. So today we're going to hop into our mystery character and super superhero. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's get right into it. All right, so revealing the character behind the mask, the character that is going to be in that seventh spot that is being revealed as a pre-order release character. Character I believe this will be, will be Toribot. Now, there are a lot of reasons behind this. I believe that Toribot could be the reason. And first thing at first, I wanna go ahead and give credit to Rhyme Style and of course, Dadadoya here. Not They didn't give me this idea, but they this is their video I am playing here in the background as I just want to show off what just some video of Toriyama here I don't have this game on my computer so I'm not able to show it off but this is this is just some Toribot gameplay from a custom mod in for for uh Budokai Tenkaichi 3 so I wanted to show that off in the background why I do talk about why I think Toribot could be the character first off we've it's a character we've never seen in a game for good reason Toribot is known to be extremely broken now there the question is do they make him balance do they make him broken but banned everywhere in tournament wise there's a lot of controversy make maybe make him not allowed to be played in online battles if they make him super broken i think tori bot would be awesome as just a huge thank you to akira toriyama for everything you've done thank you that between this and daima this is his swan song of a game this is something that we just it would absolutely be awesome in my book if we saw him instead of what everybody's predicting, a lot of people are predicting Beast Gohan. A lot of people are predicting other characters. In my opinion, I think Toribot would just be the ideal character to be the absolute phenom to be in this last bit of the game. So that's just my opinion on it. I really, really do hope that's who we end up getting for this final character. And I thank you all so much. Let's go and hop into who I think the other DLC one characters will actually be in this game all right so with the likes of dlc one in sparking zero being super superhero as everyone has pretty much predicted at this point i think two of the biggest characters we have to talk about here is obviously going to be gamma one and two like do we think gamma one and two are each going to be added to the game because to me they fight pretty similar similarly I'm having a hard time with that word. But to me, they fight almost the exact same. Not necessarily the exact same, but pretty close. I mean, they're literally twins of each other. They have almost the same movesets, even in the movie. Like, in my opinion, I think it would be better for them to actually turn them into just one character with different costumes. But the question at that point is, who else would you add? Because we have who we think the initial seven's going to be. The initial seven people are almost obvious, but not entirely obvious. And we'll go into the, more of them. But say these are our first two. I think the Gammas would be an absolutely phenomenal addition to the whole entire universe of Sparking Zero. I just don't think them as a whole together are going to be great. 
That's just my opinion on, on Gamma One and Gamma Two. I do think they'll they'll, they'll be great for who they are, but I don't. I think you're wasting a a spot if you turn them into one or two characters in and of themselves out of the seven that we're going to assume is going to be in DLC Pack One. Because at the moment that we're confirming, since DLC Pack One, Two, and Three all have twenty one characters or twenty plus characters, we're, I'm going to assume twenty one. Just they didn't want to give us twenty one, but I'm gonna assume seven characters per pack. And if that's the case, then it should be pretty obvious that Gamma 1 and 2 should be two of those. So then you have five other characters. So let's look into the other five characters on who we think could be coming up. So they have pretty much confirmed that Giants are going to be in this game. We know that much. So one of the biggest characters we need to look at, outside of the obvious Gohan Beast. Beast Gohan we know will be in it. A lot of people are predicting Beast Gohan to be the main guy who's going to be in this It'd be he's going to be the the hidden character well as you heard earlier in this video i have a different prediction on that i think it's more fun than it being beast gohan now i get it because they've said that character doesn't have to be anyone or isn't someone who's been an official game yet and i could see that i could see why they would go with it being beast gohan but to me i think my guess of tori bot is just a lot more fun but going back we know beast gohan's going to be in the super superhero dlc if he's not in that spot, like he has to be like, there's just no answers or buts. I think he's going to be a great character. Gohan mains are going to go crazy for him. The SSJ two Gohan mains from back in Budokai Tenkaichi series are going to go nuts to have beast Gohan in their whole entire thing. But I think the bigger character we really need to be looking at, no pun intended here is cell max. We know <laughs> that they're going to pretty much add in, Giants. We know that from Grade 8 Vegeta. We know that from Grade 8 Vegeta that they revealed in the trailer. So I think our next logical assumption here would be that they're going to now put in another giant and probably a giant in every single DLC pack, if I had to guess. And the giant for DLC pack Super Superhero is going to be Cell Max. Now, for me, the giants are a weird subject because I'm not sure if the giants are going to be able to fight much as you're seeing here against normal people, no problem whatsoever. Or if they're only going to be able to... I'm pretty sure they can fight against normal people because we saw uh, Vegeta taking on... I believe it was a normal person in the release date trailer. I don't remember who he was fighting, but it was someone normal. So they will be able to do that, but the question is how much more health will they have? Will they be overpowered? Will they be slower? Will they... How strong are they going to be? That's the real question on the Giants that leave a lot of people really confused with them is... Are they going to have an easy, like, be able to be beaten con? Like, I think Budokai, the, this this fan-made game, did a really good job of making Cell Max, but they didn't make him super big like Sparking Zero is. They made him a lot bigger, so obviously he's going to have a bigger hitbox, but they still made him look like a character who was just bigger. They didn't make him super giant like he is in the show, because in the show he is huge, which is what Sparking Zero is going for in that context. So do I think that, I'm, I'm not sure how it's overall really going to work with the whole entire thing, but I do have faith that these two characters will for sure be in DLC pack. Super Superhero, it's the most obvious two out of any that can be confirmed outside of the Gammas. We know the Gammas will be at least one of them, maybe it be a costume. But so far that's four characters, so still we have five. If we're guessing seven, we still have three more characters, and these three characters Except for one of them. One of them is another obvious one. But these three characters, the other, the final two characters are two. I don't think people are expecting them to add. So let's go right into them. These next two characters, as you can see from the screen, are who my next guests are. Only kind of okay. Obviously, they didn't have, in this particular game, they don't have a Teen Trunks that is the Teen Trunks from GT. Anyway, so we want your Kid Trunks. But you get the gist. I think the next two characters, which will make five and six, will be... Goten and Trunks as teens. That's something like actual teens, not kids that we see in the Boo series or that we've seen, or not the teen Trunks that we see in the uh, the future. None of that. No, we're going to see full-blown teen Trunks and teen Goten from the movie in their superhero outfits. That's what I think their, their, their five and six characters will be. Okay, that, I think that would be a lot of fun. It's something a lot of people don't expect. And what I really think is going to throw people off 
is going to be the fact I think they're going to be able to fuse and we're going to see 18 go tanks. Now that adds more than seven characters. I understand that, but I do think I do think there's a chance we may get more than seven characters per DLC. I think let's see, they said twenty plus, they didn't say thirty, so I don't think it'll be ten per DLC. I, I'm still hard on that seven, but say it's eight, okay? If it is eight, and the other character isn't who I think it also could be, which we'll discuss here, I think we could see a go tanks. Even a fat go tanks like we see in the movie, because he ends up transforming in the movie, but he turns into fat go tanks. He doesn't turn into normal go tanks. So we're either going to get teen them, or we're going to get fat go tanks. Uh, fat go tanks would be, a, I think, a lot more of a funny character uh, than it would be an impactful character. But I could see that being something that Bandai would do just for the sheer kicks and uh, kicks and giggles of it. So overall, I think that there is a chance we see either Goten and Trunks as teens, but I think more thinking on it, I think there's more of a chance we'll actually just get fat Gotenks more so than we will that. All right, so let's talk about the last almost guaranteed character, and that is of course Orange Piccolo. Like there, I think he is as obvious as the Gammas, Beast Gohan, and freaking uh cell max i think those five characters are the most obvious characters to come from the super superhero dlc and it's not even close like i think those five characters are easily going to be in the game and you can't change my mind on that except for the fact i think gamma one and two would be a completely wasted space but let's talk about what i think will happen here so you have orange piccolo now the thing about orange piccolo that a lot of people don't seem to remember is Orange Piccolo did become a giant for a small time in the show. So the question then is become, do you release Orange Piccolo in his giant form? Because that would mean you are releasing two different Orange Piccolos. Also, will this be the first transforming giant we get in Sparking Zero? Because they haven't confirmed that Sand Saga of Vegeta can transform in-game. Because he'd have to throw the moon. Now, notably, that that could be the same type of combination it is to fuse in game. It could be the same combination as to transform into Super Saiyan in game. They haven't truly confirmed that you can transform mid game yet. I don't think they've truly confirmed that, anyways. I could be completely way off base in saying that. I know they've confirmed fusions in the middle of matches because you can play as Go Tanks and Trunks and you can fuse mid match. But I don't think they have confirmed transformations yet in the sense of Super Saiyan versus Saiyan. So ooh, I, that would mean that they would also have to completely confirm giant transformations. The other character I think would be interesting for them to add, and a lot of people forget, is Pan. They could add Kid Pan, especially since they just did it in Kakarot. We could be seeing a Kid Pan played out in in Sparking Zero, just because. I mean, there's no reason for them not to. Kid Pan is a fantastic character, and she is a ton of fun for a character. So I could see Kid Pan being one of those characters they go, oh, yeah, we should probably add her, just because. that They just did it in Kakarot, so they have kind of the foundation for what they'd want her to do. I don't think she'd be a very good character. I think she'd be absolutely butt, because at that point she is way little or the GT Pan, as you're seeing here. They obviously don't have Kid Pan in this one. But she's way younger. So here's the thing. Okay, so overall, with everything I have said, you have to think about all the potential characters here. So we have we have Gamma 1 and 2. That's two characters. We have Beast Gohan. We have Orange Piccolo. We have Cell Max. We have Orange Piccolo Giant. We have Trunks, Goten, Fat Gotenks, and a uh, pan kid pan from the movie now that is 10 characters i don't think there are going to be 10 characters i think what we can deduce here is we can combine gamma one and two they're going to have different outfits but they be one character so now we just have one character for the gammas you're going to get sale max you're going to get beast gohan you're going to get what i think is going to be orange piccolo and giant orange piccolo Strong call there. I know two giants in one DLC would be a lot, but I think it's right. I think we're going to get fat go tanks and we're going to get pan. 
I don't think they'll give us Team, team Goten and Team Trunks. I don't think we'll get those two. I think we'll get Fat Gotenks because he actually fights in this semi. And I think we'll get Kid Pan. That's seven characters. I think that's, that even says that, that in itself is still mind boggling that that could be the seven we get. I think it would say a lot for the game if they went that route, um, because that means they do have a minor focus towards the Giants and the DLCs, which is fine because at the moment, the only, I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, the only confirmed Giant in the game is Sand Saga Vegeta. I don't believe there's any other Giant in the game at this point, which means that they need to immediately release another Giant into the game Otherwise, we're going to have no other giant to fight against. So releasing two immediately gives a variety for a giant fight, which is which is good. And let I mean I could be mistaken. They could be releasing other other freaking other DLCs that I am not or not other DLC, but there's still plenty of other characters they can release. But I believe these seven characters that I have listed here on the screen are going to be the main seven characters we actually end up seeing. I could be way off base, and I could be. I, I know for a fact some of these are right. And I'll be interested to see how close I am to these. But I believe these will be all of the DLC one super superhero characters that we will see in Sparking Zero. That's just my opinion on it. Otherwise, I thank you all so much for watching. As always, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope y'all enjoyed my little prediction of what characters we could very well see coming into this game in DLC one. And what I believe the hidden character will be as well, which I hope is Tori Bot. I think it's just going to play such an amazing part in this whole entire. It, it, in in it will play such a huge role in the foundation of a, a tribute to Akira Toriyama. This being his swan song, this and Daima being his main two swan songs. I think it would be cool and awesome to have a Tori Bot in this game. So. That's my overall opinion on it. I thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned. I will be releasing a video that does show what I think Season 2 will consist of, as well as Season 3, as well as the remaining characters we still don't even know about yet. So stay tuned. I'll see you all in the next video. Y'all have fun. Hug someone you love, and I'll see you all then. Peace.